Very exciting because we're back at the pool, but I'm with head gardener <laughs> Susie because she is the expert on pruning the water, um, the floating islands, I guess. Yeah. Yeah? You are the expert. And we're pruning because, uh, I, I, as I told Susie earlier, we've got the equivalent of the BBC in Germany coming to film everybody, our pool, our very famous pool. I mean, this pool is, it's famous, isn't it? It is very famous. Do lots mm. of people ask you questions about it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And they are always ask like, why are they in there? What's the reason for having those planters in there? And um, a few people have also said they prefer them floating than being attached to the sun. Oh, right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I quite like it both. So I do like it both, but then I like the reflection of the summer house down the middle. Yeah. So we're trying to get the pool ready for Friday's filming, which will see me in the pool as well. And if you watched a recent video, we had massive water problems. Huge. I was in the pool. I had to detether because they were on an angle. And what's happening with the water now? It's it's sounding better. It's sounding better. So we have got much more water coming in into the pool now. So the um, water has risen. Yeah. I, so we can reattach the planters. Right. I mean, it's risen quite significantly. Yeah. Right. And you're pruning as well. Yeah, we're pruning Sorry. and just uh, weeding out um, willow herb and bits of grass that's in there. And then we're going to um, cut back any sort of dead foliage, brown leaves. Okay. Um, and make it kind of nice yeah. for Friday. And um, put some more gravel on if they need um, okay. gravel topping up. Okay, great. So what's the willow? Willow herb. Willow I'll herb. I'll say herb, but yep. <laughs> what is the willow herb? What does it look like? Uh, it's really quite small. Um, there isn't any left in this one now because I, okay. I weeded it before you okay. got here. But we'll find some in the other one. Okay, okay And it's great. a really small little pink flower like, and they just this? seed everywhere. This is growing massively. These are yeah. big. And by the way, we do, when do you normally sort of cut everything back? Uh, in the autumn. In the autumn, So, so yeah. sort of maybe um, November time when right. it's all um, started to die back. But it's really blossomed. It has. And this water mint, I think we're going to have to do something about the water mint because it's just going to take over and spread. Yeah, I know, look at it. And it smell, it's amazing, the smell. Yeah, you're going to have to really cut back because it's you're, it's everywhere. <laughs> it is. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, let's go do, I've got my secateurs, everybody. Okay. Okay, where do you want me? We want it down. We want it down near to where Andy is, okay. where we can reach. Oh my gosh. Okay, no wonder I got in. <laughs> I think it's probably much easier to get in, isn't it? It is, but I figure I'm in my red boiler suit and the visitors are here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> probably for the best. Although we the last time, way. Susie, I, I did it, the, there were visitors here and we had really good chats. Okay, here we go. Come on. They're really heavy, aren't they? They're super heavy. Super, super heavy. It's not for the faint hearted, that is for sure. Okay, I'm getting it there. Okay, I'll come round. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is like, I'm just doing a really bad job. It's a good little exercise for my arms and my core. That is for sure, it's really my core. Okay, we're getting there. I wonder why that moss did so well and the others haven't done. Do you know what I mean? It has and I think pretty much from the start of these going in, I don't know why, but this one has sat better in the water and deeper in the water than right. the others have. So it's just had a bit more Right, so it's had more moisture. moisture. I think this will look good though for the filming. I think this will... That's what I think. Yeah. It'll, I, I think it's quite nice having that height. And we'll um, skim the weed out as well. Yeah, it's looking good. It's not so much weed now, but no, then it's we not. haven't had a huge amount of um, sunlight. Right. Um, so do you think that's why? Yeah. Because when it's hot, yeah. it, 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 it blooms. Fe it festers it. Okay, so, so we're looking for willow herbs. <laughs> willow, this is it here. Oh. Okay, that's it. So how. All right, so what are you gonna do? Show me the first one. I mean, I've used this like once. Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, right, you just wanna pull the we whole pull thing. The whole <gasps> thing out with these ones. Oh my gosh. And there's absolutely loads of it. So I see it, I see it. Okay, well, like this down here, isn't it? Is it? Yep. Oh, it is. Yep, that's no. it. And some of them will have a pink flower. Okay, okay. 
So like this one here? Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I see, okay. Wow. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness, there's even brambles growing in here. What? <laughs> oh, I got a big long, oops. I don't think that was it. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was something else. It's clearly not willow herb. <laughs> it's clearly part of the plant. Okay, wow, there's just tons of it. I don't think it really has any uses, useful for anything. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna grab, look at this, here we go, bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will tell everybody, as we're doing this, it's quite therapeutic, because today was a really sad day. Everyone's really sad, Everyone. I'm really upset. Our, our white runner duck, we have these, th these three runner duck, they're like a trio, a threesome. They're always together, aren't they? Like literally yeah. always together. We're not sure if we're gonna get another runner duck. We don't know, it's just, the problem is, is that there are signs everywhere. And so we just ask that if you do come and visit us with the dog, that's great, but the dogs must be on a lead because we just have lovely chickens and runner ducks and now we're all upset. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there have been yeah. tears today. Yeah. They have. We, yeah, there, <laughs> they have. There have. So this is quite therapeutic for Susie and I to pull willow, willow herb. Willow herb. <laughs> <laughs> Like this, Susie? Yeah, yeah that's it. So Do I go down, far? Down, yep, as far as you can go with it, and okay. just snip that off. Okay. And then you're just left with the healthy green leaves. And this pot. one too, do you think? Yeah. Whoops, that one came off. Okay. Oops, sorry. That was... Sorry, I want to go down as far as I can. Gotcha, okay. And get some of this brownie stuff. Oh wait, I think that's... And then it just really smartens it up yeah. for the filming. And this one, this what one, do you think, yeah? yeah. Okay, great, there's some willow herb. All right, you guys, we're gonna hang out here for a while and it actually it's a lovely day, which is fantastic. But the next time you see me, I'll be in the pool um, on camera, but with these planters looking pretty sensational. This is the orangery at Mapperton, and it was put in by my grandfather. So only around 50 years ago or so. And funny enough, I remember him sitting here having a cup of tea every day at about five o'clock and he would have lemon tea and he would dunk a sugar cube into his tea. And sometimes if I was lucky, I'd get the sugar cube he also had a telephone installed down here so that he could take important calls. But it's, uh, it's obviously an important building now in the garden. Funnily enough, originally the pergola, which is down there, was actually here. But I think, it's, I think the garden works better with the orangery here. It's like a sort of headstone for the garden. And um, anyway, it's... It's obviously a wonderful building and it's got all of these plants inside that need warmer weather, um, including a rather wonderful uh, grape variety, what we call a uva fragola, strawberry grape, which I remember eating as a child. Um, but like all the buildings at Mapperton, it is subject to wear and tear from the weather. And relatively recently, we had to replace the whole roof on the building um, and we've been holding off with some other really urgent repairs which are the repairs to these windows and you can see that there are 11 of them in total and thanks to the support of our patrons at Mapperton we have been able to repair the four that were in the worst condition so we've had them completely remade and installed and if you um if you come over here, you get, a, you get a sense of what the condition was like before. This one still needs doing, but it's, it's, it's not collapsed. <laughs> um, you may recall from other videos how these windows were really about to fall apart and the wind was blowing them in. But if we look over here, you can see that this is one of the new windows that we've had made locally. And it's fantastic joinery. Um, it costs around about £15,000 
just to do four of them. And that doesn't include the top of the window, it's just the main sections. And so we've still got um, something like another six or seven to do, plus we've got all of, all of those um, top sections as well. So there's a lot still to do, but it's a great start. And I, I'm, I like the way they've really matched the joinery. If we come in for a close up here, You can, you can see how well crafted these are. And I'm hoping that they're going to give us at least 20 or 30 years of life. Um, if you come down this way, this one's been redone as well. This is, this is one of the original ones. I mean, the problem with timber, obviously, is you've got to keep painting it. And I think our, our painting routine hasn't been as good as it should have. But you can see that they've, they've absolutely matched the style and design. So that is a big success for Mapperton, another project complete, at least for now, and many thanks to all of our patrons who help support these important restoration projects here at Mapperton. Okay, I've just got out of the pool because the German TV crew was here. So hopefully you'll be able to see, well, maybe it'll be on YouTube eventually, but on either Arte or ZDF, um, those two channels. But they came here and focused on our pool. They're doing a big documentary around sort of the invention, if you like, and the popularization of swimming pools and the history of swimming pools. So. We did a lot of history around this, and of course I was swimming in it. And even though it's a bright sunny day here today, it's probably about 21 degrees Celsius, that water is still cold. So I'd say it's probably about, I think it's about 15 degrees Celsius. And there's still a bit of blanket weed. Um, Luke and I are figuring out what to do over the winter months when we're close to the public. But I think our plan is to build two reed underwater planters, if you like. And I might put some watercress there as well because apparently that really helps with blanket weed but overall it was a really nice swim i was in the pool filming for about i don't know five minutes or so but i am quite cold <laughs> because it still is cold I mean, it's quite deep at the very end you can't touch um anyway that was really fun so hopefully we'll be able to share with you all when this comes out i don't think it's coming out until may 2025 perhaps on YouTube, but definitely on Arte and ZDF. And yeah, but, and, and I'm sure somewhere on YouTube, but for now I'm cold. I'm actually gonna go take a hot bath. Now we have an exciting morning here at Mapperton because it is the day when we have to separate some of the lambs. Some of these lambs, unfortunately, well, depends which way you're looking at it, need to go off and um, be put into the food chain. That is what happens at Mapperton. It's what happens at farms all the time. It's obviously uh, a sad thing in some respects, but a very necessary thing in others. And so the challenge now is how we can separate them. So we've got lots of, uh, people from Mapperton helping out. We've got the gardening team. We've got uh, Claire is directing operations down the bottom. And um, somehow we've got to make sure that we can uh, split the group up. So uh, I will go and uh, take my position. I can see Claire running up the drive now. Claire has arrived with some cake, some food. Okay. How many, yeah. how many lambs are we um, taking out? We're bringing these eight out yeah. so that we can split them in half and sell four and keep four. Sell four and keep four. Have you decided which ones? No. Are you going to decide that or is it just going to be whoever 
It's um, the luck of the draw. I've got a list of the ones yeah. that I want to keep. All right. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay, right. Yes. Um, anything I can be doing with this? Do you want to run in front of them? Sure, I'll run in front of them. Right. Okay. Where do I go? Um, so I was going to ask if Jake, if you could go in the backside again and chase them out. Um, so they're going, to be, they're going to be following me with the feed. Is that right? <laughs> okay, so I need to hop over. Yeah, but this is a one-time thing. So hopefully they'll follow you. And when you say one-time thing, do you mean if it doesn't if work? If we don't get them the first time, then do you we've think lost you should it. Do it? I think I'm not saying I'm going to be any no, better. No, no, but... no, Claire, I, think, I think that's what I think that was the subtext of that one. I'm that, sorry. Um, Claire knows what she's doing. <laughs> um, All right. Congratulations. Do you not think we should um, give her a no? She's 111. I don't think she's on my list. She's not on the list oh, anyway. She she's on the list. For, for us to keep or for us to? For us to keep. Oh, for us to keep. Well done. Okay. Well, she's, um, she's proven herself <laughs> in, the, in the art of escapology. What I'll do now is I'll... Um, Pen them all up in here and spray the ones that we're keeping uh, until Ben gets here or if somebody's able to help me, I'll move them back through there to keep the ones that are going in here ready for the Hoya to collect later. Fantastic. Well done, Claire. All right, and this is 119 cheese stays. They're going to market for breeding, so they're not going to go on the. Oh, they're not going! They're going for breeding! Yeah. There we go. They're going to have long, happy lives elsewhere. They definitely will. Okay.